Hello everyone, in this video I am going to talk about reduce function, what are its benefits and how to use it. So let's have a look at the sample code which I have written over here and it is just taking some numbers as an input and then calculating the sum of it which is nothing but the addition of all the input numbers. So the simplest way to do this is using the for loop and you can see that in output we got it as 6. Now how can we optimize this code? How can we reduce number of lines? Because this is just a simple operation which is taking almost 2 to 3 lines of code. Let's have a look at it. Here we need to import uh, func tools which is having reduce function in it and the reduce function will perform all the magic for us. So let's go ahead and import func tools and I would say reduce here and next thing we need is the operator because operator is having some multiplication and all those operations for us. So let's go ahead and import that too. And here we will say add because add denotes submission. Now once this is imported we need to go ahead and say reduce. So this reduce will take parameter like which function you want to perform. So I want to perform add and what are its respective parameters. So just supply here 1, 2, 3 or whatever parameters we need. And I will go ahead and print it out. So you can see that we got the output at 6. So rather than doing these three lines, we can just go ahead and print it using one line. So let me comment this out here. We don't need all these four lines, just one line is enough to perform this. Now apart from this particular way, we do have a lambda support with reduce. So for that, we can go ahead and say reduce and inside that we can go ahead and say lambda which will take two parameters let's say a and b followed by colon and just say a plus b because we just want to perform the addition over here and at the end we need to supply our parameter list or the collection so once this is done we can expect the same output which is 6 over here. It means what reduce function does is it takes a collection and returns a single value and this is what this is what we are doing here so i hope you enjoyed this short trick and thanks for watching